all right welcome back to my channel so today i did a look for the summertime it's super easy and simple it's something where you just want to look cute and you know it really goes with anything that you want to wear you can wear something bright you can wear something neutral and it'll still look cute either way and it stays on all day like honestly it stays on so if you guys like this look, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys like this look and want to learn how I did this, just please keep watching. And it's super easy and I hope you guys enjoy this look. So, y'all, let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to use my face moisturizer and I'm going to use cortisone all over my face. And you really just want to make sure you massage it on there, you know, massage it into the hands real good. You can see what I'm doing. And then you're just gonna slap it on there. You're gonna make sure that you massage it really well into the face, like I said. Make sure you get it all over. Because I usually get dry around my nose. I even put it on the eyebrows so my hair stay in place because it's pretty tacky that moisturizer. And I noticed that it helps my makeup stay on all day. And you can see I'm just singing here. Mm hmm. And then I just make sure I put a little extra under my eyes so that my wrinkles aren't prominent. And I also am going to be putting it on my smile lines and around my nose just a little bit more so it doesn't get too dry during the day. And you'll notice that like sometimes your makeup clings on to certain areas that you don't want it to. So usually when I do this, it helps a lot. And then I make sure I put it on my eyes as well because like I said, the moisturizer is really tacky. So I hope I hope it like works for you guys because I love it and I like I say every time in all my videos just please try it because it's awesome I didn't even realize how good it was until act, like an accident happened to me where I got hives all over but it helped cure them and now my skin hasn't been better I use it all the time I've already gone through like six tubes I'm not even kidding yep and I even put some on my neck because I noticed that my neck gets dry and also I put makeup down there too so it blends seamlessly and it doesn't look like I have two different colors on my face. And then you're gonna put some setting spray, or not setting spray, but facial spray and you're just gonna put that all over. Make sure that you hydrate your skin, that's the number one thing. Because if you don't hydrate your skin while you put makeup on, it's going to look super cakey. And usually when you moisturize and you put facial spray, it usually helps your makeup look good. I can't even get it off. I'm struggling. You guys should put this on before you put moisturizer because it's always so hard for me to open the freaking cap. And then I'm just using the Chapstick brand. I'm using the peppermint one, honestly. I like the cherry one better, but that was the only one that they had at the store. And now I'm doing my brows. I'm actually using two products. I'm using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills in chocolate. And then I'm also going to go in with a dip brow in chocolate as well. And with the pencil, I just fill in the front of my brow. And then for the dip brow, I'm going to just only use it towards the end of my brow. And that's how you always want to do your brows. You want to make sure it doesn't look too harsh. You just want to put a little bit in the front and then you want to put um, more color towards the back of your brow with the arches and the end. So I just get a little bit. You honestly do not need a lot for the dip brow. You really don't. Like a little goes a long way. I think my other one lasted me for like more than a year. I know that's nasty, but I don't care. Gotta do what you gotta do. See? One eyebrow done. And it, well, it doesn't take that long. I just kind of speeded it up because you guys can see what I'm doing. But now I'm using the Hangover RX primer. I do this after I do the brows just so I can let the other products sink into my skin. Just so my skin like really gets everything that I'm putting on it. So I'm putting it on my face and on my neck as you can see. And I'm just kind of letting it dry for a little bit before I apply my foundation. And then I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. I've been using this forever now. I don't think I've tried any other foundation, honestly. And then, yeah, I'm using the Real Technique, Real Techniques, Real Techniques Face Brush. And 
I think this is my second brush now that I've bought from them. My other one's lasted me for so long now, so I had to get a new one. But I just buff it in all over my face. I try not to put it um, all over my eyes because I am going to be putting, you know, more concealer and more products. So I don't want it to look cakey under my eyes because I have wrinkles. Just a little bit of wrinkles, but still. Don't want to put too much under the eyes. And I'm making sure that I buff it all into my skin. No streak marks doesn't look cakey and I also blend it to my neck so you can't see any difference in color and then I use two concealers I use the bare minerals and the Tarte Shape Tape just because the Tarte Shape Tape is kind of drying so I like to use the bare minerals just to kind of even it out so it's not too dry it's you know perfect and the colors too I got tanner so I try and mix the colors so that it looks nice and it doesn't look too too light under my eyes so I'd put just a little bit of the shape tape, but I put most of the concealer of the Bare Minerals. And then I'm just blending it in with the Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge. Make sure you get the nose. And then if you, you guys can see, I put concealer in the inner corners of my eye, because I do see that it's a little blue um, right there. So I try and cover all my veins all around my eye because I do have dark circles and I also do have blue veins right there in the inner corners that you can see a lot more. So I just try and cover it just so you really can't see it. Make sure you blend that look up so that you get every single part of the concealer into the wrinkle so that it doesn't look like you have wrinkles. That's like the whole point. So if you look up while you put your concealer on, it'll help a lot and it won't look cakey. And you're just going to keep blending and blending, make sure that everything is looking good. And then now I'm just setting it with the Airspun um, face powder. I've had mine for a year now and it's still working for me guys. I haven't even like finished it at all. I think it's still halfway and I use this all the time every time I do my makeup. So you guys need to get it. It's only three bucks. At, or not a yeah you can get it at Target and you can also get it at Walmart I don't know if you can get it at CVS or Walgreens but you guys can go check it out online before you guys try and go into the store and see if they do and then I set my under eyes I have to set my under eyes because um, if you don't your eyeshadow when you apply it won't transition properly it'll just kind of stick on and you know the whole point is to just make sure everything is blended fine and the transitions on the eye is going well for you and then now I'm just um, putting a little bit more powder I'm putting I think contour powder I'm using the shade and light palette by Kat Von D I'm not using a contour brush I'm just using a fluffy brush just because it's simple makeup you guys it's just out the door makeup when you want to look good for the summer but it's hot and you don't have time you know and then I have to put some on my nose just to contour it a little bit okay so now you're gonna put the eyeshadow I always um, put my transition color first I used to put the base color like a shimmery gold or like just any color as the base. I used to do that first but now I actually like putting the transition color first. And I'm using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I use this all the time. You guys need to get it. It's honestly worth every penny. I know it's $42 but if you guys do go to Ulta, you guys can um, accumulate points and you guys could get money off for that palette or anything you like at Ulta if you just like spend over time and if you save that extra points. So making sure that it's blended, I don't go all the way to the brow bone because you do want your um, brow bone to be highlighted. And then I put a little bit of a darker color, I think I put, oh my gosh I don't even know, I'll put it down below, I think like Sienna or something. I don't know but just make sure you blend it like I don't I don't know how many times to stress that but make sure it's blended and then I put I put the lightest color of the palette on the brow bone not the shimmery color just the matte color
All right, now I'm gonna put um, the base color finally. I'm just putting it very lightly on the eyelids. I'm not gonna pack it on there and chuck it on there. It's like a natural look, but it accentuates your beauty. So it's like you're not trying too, too hard. You're just accentuating all the features that you have on your face. And then I blend once again, just so the base color isn't like just packed on there. It's transitioned with the transition color. And then after that, I dust off all the powder that I put to bake my face. Make sure I take all of that off of there. And then now I go in with my mascara. This part is gonna take a little while, guys, just because I want my eyelashes to look good. I'm not using any falsies. This is my natural lashes. I use um, vitamin E oil. I could, or I'll put it down below in the um, description box which one I use to help my lashes grow. And then for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. If you guys go to try to find it, it's the packaging with um, the little stars in the background of the cardboard. It's not the gold one, it's just like the black one that says Carbon Black on it. And then I'm just gonna let that dry while I sang. And then I go in again one more time just to coat the lashes really well make sure every single lash is popping yes Tanya yes you did a good job with those lashes girl you gotta hype yourself up sometimes you guys it's like the best thing to help you get your self-esteem and then I'm using lip liner and I'm using the liquid lipstick for lip liner I'm using MAC and SOAR and then I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and stripped. And um, I let the chapstick sit on there just because it helps my liquid lipstick um, not dry my lips during the day because I notice that if I do not do that, my lips are super cracked and they look just crusty as hell and they look nasty. So before you do any of this guys, just make sure you moisturize your lips with whatever you guys like to use. It's your preference. And then now I'm putting the liquid lipstick and I just put it in the center. I don't put it all over just because I want it to look transition like I said for like the millionth time. But that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm just showing you guys a close up of the makeup. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoy and I love you guys so much. And if you guys want to subscribe, subscribe down below to my channel.